There it is. Got it. Okay. Bah. When shark life is freaking out. Oh no, she's low on batteries. Oh. Damn, this is a lot of yellow. Not as cool as a loading screen as P5. But look at all this yellow. It's all piss. It's piss all the way down. Piss is the whole theme? It's all piss? P4 Golden stands for showers. Shit, I didn't know it was all about pee. I can't believe they made this game about piss. Pissona. It's the piss dimension. Galileo? Like Galileo? Oh. I'm gonna take the golden shower, Sammy. No! Um, in media, uh, the Italian for yellow. I, like, I mean, we talked about them, but we did not focus on them at all. It is very, look at how yellow this is. Is that the reference it's trying to make, though? I think it was like it was vaguely mentioned when we talked about like types of like film and stuff. Yes, because that's where paperbacks having that's where old paperbacks having yellow pages comes from. Yeah. Interesting. Because I believe I know very little about this game. If I'm going to be perfectly honest, except for look at how yellow I am. Um, I know very little about the game. But um, I know it's centered around a mystery. It's very, it's like different than, you know, Persona 5, it's uh, Rebels, blah, blah, blah. E4 is about, like, a mystery. Um, I think a murderer. But don't tell me much, guys. Don't tell me much. I don't want to know too much.
Compare to Zelda in the game, might be a hunch, damn. All right, our first tarot card draw of, oh, hey, I need to change the game over. Persona 4 Golden. Perfect. First playthrough. Um, let's see, fresh off the P5 boat and everything is yellow. Oh God. There we go. All right, first tarot card draw of uh, Persona 4. It's not the fool. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> two of batons. God, look at how yellow everything is. <laughs> it's uh, the two of batons, which I'm not sure is one we've actually gotten before, so go less. Crossroads. Blocked. Options. Appropriate. Mm -mm. Yeah. Come across a sign with a large X, no trespassing. Small bump in the road, and you need to decide what action to take next. Rather than giving up, you're invited to put a little effort in to take a slightly longer path around the blockage, so you need to work on a more modest path. Say farewell to the Bonkin boys, Ryuji and Jim Guy. <laughs> so, our past, uh, who we are, we're at a crossroads right now. Probably in, you know, reference to the fact that we're starting a new game. And we can decide how to go about it. The batons like the wands of your deck? Yes. I'm using a Mar a Marseille. Marseille? Marseille? Marseille. Uh, tarot deck. So it has wands coins, swords, and, uh, cups, right? Because there's a couple of different types of decks, so, like, the verbiage changes, but they all mean, like, the same thing. Uh. Yeah. Anyway, so, we're at a crossroads. That makes sense. Start of a new playthrough. And we have the five of coins. Look at that. Minor Arcana, baby. I really should get better at shuffling cards. Destabilization, interruption, and resistance. When you think all is calm and stable, a new component is thrown into the mix and it shakes up the status quo. Yeah, like probably starting a new video game. Like probably the start of this video game. <laughs> Makes a lot of sense. Um, mix up the status quo, starting something different, shaking things up. Conflict. Yeah, okay. And as for the future, we have... Age of Swords. Hard to see with all the yellow. Now, this is a good tarot read for a mystery. Sword zombie? Desire, alertness, and communication. A reminder to think before you speak or act. <laughs> I don't do that. Um, yeah. About um, desire to share. And alertness, communicating, talking. Social links, yeah. It makes sense. Social links are my future, but not today, because who knows if we get to them. That makes sense. Desire to be social. Okay. Alright. Well, look at that. That's our first tarot reading. Two of batons, five of coins, page of swords. Past, present, 
and uh, future. Good card reading. It's very fitting. A Persona 4 is giving me like fantasy star vibes. Like upbeat piano, plinky menu, stars everywhere. Why do you like the purple? It's pretty. So, uh, honestly, I guess without uh, any introduction, let's see where we go. Vox Populi? This is gonna be about popularity, isn't it? This is gonna deal with, like, fame and popularity, huh? Because the stars... Yeah. It totally is, isn't it? Huh? <clears throat> There's a point to begin, yeah. That's your request. Just the Thieves Guild? Yeah, it's called the Thieves Guild. Um, hmm. Please experience the tension. I turned the volume down. We'll relax and have fun with the game. Thanks. I turned down the volume of the game. Anime cutscene. Oh, mommy? Velvet mommy? <laughs> or? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Oh, so we're starting this right away. It's a ah. limousine. Oh, <laughs> it seems we have a guest with an intriguing destiny. <laughs> God, Igor, your eyes look so scary. He looks so scary. <laughs> they really made this man fucking horrifying. <laughs> they just It's also yeah, it's his voice. Scary eyes, gentle voice. Need some eye drops, my man. Also, I'm totally right. This is a limousine. This is about fame and popularity. That's exactly what this is. It's about fame and popularity. We're in a fucking limo. Also, mommy! Mommy! Let's go! <clears throat> hmm. Is the Velorum a fucking car? I am assuming. I'm assuming so. What do you think of Levenza's older sister? <laughs> My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. Why is everyone so loud? Hang on here, Igor. I'm just gonna turn... I'm gonna turn, like, the app volume down. Cause I turn... I turn stuff down so hard. Breathe the same. Look, women. Look, guys. Look. Or let's.
let's turn it down to like a two. I love Lavenza sees the development room attendant. No, I I still love Lavenza. I do. The graphics are suddenly definitely becoming for P5. I mean, I expected it to not be very good. Like, I'm gonna be honest. I did not expect it to be good. <laughs> um, this is... I was expecting about, like, Final Fantasy X era graphics, and that's pretty much what this is. Because P P4 is a PS2 game, right? It's not like I played a lot of PS2 games, so, like, yeah, Final Fantasy X is a good comparison. For Velvet Mommy? Velvet Mommy. End of the PS2 lifetime. Mm. 2008? Ah. Uh -huh. The person was on the PS2. Nice. Took all the PS3's lifetime to make the P5 engine. That makes sense. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. It may be that such a fate awaits you in the near future. God, Igor, your eyes. Now then, why don't you introduce yourself? So Sammy, about not dating older women, Velvet Limo Mommy has said, Velvet Limo Mommy! <laughs> My last name. All right, so what's his last name? Narakama. So, I'm gonna wanna do canonically, yes. I wanna do the canonical name. Like, again, remember, this is a thing for me. I am never going to be able to relate to these characters. Probably, right? Um, they're going to be completely unrelatable to me. Joker, I love Joker. Great character. Can't relate to him. I just can't. He's not, he's not like me, you know? And part of it's not the fact that they're men, though that is a huge part of it. But it's just because they're also just so different than, like, me. I relate to somebody like Makoto instead, right? These characters are more interesting if they're not self-inserts. I'd agree with you. Um, the P3P female protagonist? I very well might. But generally speaking, if a character is male, it's going to be really hard for me to relate to them. And if I do, there's probably something very special about them. Hmm. Not being self-inserts with the strength of soul hackers. Nice. So his first name is Yu. Is that right? Yu Narakami. Narukami. Yu Narukami. Narukami. Literally a joke on your name. I see. You villain fucker, you mama. The in the anime, he's so funny. That's great. Now, let's take a look into your future, shall we? Do you believe in fortune telling? Oh. 
Each reading is done with the same cards, yet the result is always different. So this does a bit more with tarot, okay. <laughs> Life itself follows the same principles, doesn't it? I can see how people would suss out that Igor in P5 is not the same Igor. Because not only does this Igor have a different voice, he talks differently, and he is way more active immediately. His entire personality is different. Like, now that you guys, like, you know, I obviously wouldn't be able to tell because of course not, right? But, like, um, like, of course not. But, I don't know, I, I really, it, it's very obvious immediately that this Igor is different. You know, if I bar barely refers to Terra outside of the Arcana. Yeah, no, I mean, that's that's kind of cool. I like that. Nice touch. Terra is there because it's mandatory. The Igor said, welcome to my velvet room. And that's a big red flag. It's the velvet. The definitive what the fuck's going on here, Igor? Yeah, he's not like a warden. He's also like, um, like a really, a really good bit with Igor here too, is in P5, he's sitting behind a desk, like tapping his fingers, like impatiently, as you sit in a jail cell. We're here, he's across from you in a limousine, with just a normal little table. Just a normal little table, he's just across from you. It's much more approachable and much more friendly. Like, he is much more friendly Despite his eyeballs! <laughs> right here. Very different. Normal little table. Abnormal little guy. Yeah. Also, hi, Frost. How are you? His hands fo folded like he's interested in you. Yeah, like he wants to hear what you have to say. He's literally going like this. Right? Um. It's, it's interesting. It's different. Versus, again, in P5 where he's like, are you done yet? Real looks much more contemplative. I feel like my velvet room would be a library. Hmm. Oh, what would my velvet room be like? Oh, that's an interesting thought. Would it be a church? Fuck, maybe it would be. <laughs> It might be a church. Oh no. I would wake up and be like, Ah, oh, fuck, are you kidding me? And Igor would be like, Welcome to the Velvet. Like, get me out of here! I don't want to go back! That's exactly what would fucking happen. Oh my god. Yeah, I'd immediately be trying to escape, but like the doors don't open. I'm like, no, I'm trapped in here. My velvet room is like a church. The velvet attendant's like a nun or something. It's like a hot nun. Some shit like that. I don't know. Sexy nun, yeah. Yeah, I feel like mine would be a church just because I have so much fucking- There is so much of my bullshit that is tied around that sort of stuff that, like, it's it's literally, like, unavoidably a part of me. Welcome to the- Please stop screaming, you're here by invitation! I don't want to be here! I didn't want to go back! Bell room is not necessarily a mirror of your horrors. I know that. But like, okay, well, correct me if I'm wrong, right? You can correct me if I'm wrong, but Velvet Room represents how you feel about yourself in many ways. Velvet Room's <laughs> a blockbuster video. Um, it's how you feel about yourself in many ways. Joker felt trapped, so he was in jail. I'm assuming this protagonist is either famous or wants to be famous or popular or something like that. Um, thus the limo, right? Um... So, a church for me could represent, like, um... A church for me and, like, the subsequent, like, disengagement from it could represent, like, 
um, hope and faith, right? Faith in someone, faith in myself, right? Less religious in that sense, but also represents, like, my past and sort of, like, the things that I've dealt with, right? Darker's Destiny was, like, to break his chains, for sure. Um, but, like, again, like, also, like I said, like, represents, um, the notion of the Velvet Room is based in spoilers. Oh. You know. Hmm. Like, you know, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we shouldn't get too into it just because of, like, you know, we are starting the game. I should get to a save point. Oh, hey, it's the tower. Oh, no, it's the tower. Hmm. The tower in the upright position represents the immediate future. It seems a terrible catastrophe is imminent. That's a bad sign. The card indicating the future beyond that is... The moon? Oh, that's not good. The moon in the upright position. Ooh. Ooh. Um... This card represents hesitation and mystery. Very interesting indeed. Somebody's gonna get murdered. <laughs> There's it gonna be a seems you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. In the coming days, you will enter into a contract of some sort, after which you will return here. Uh, hey, why did the top move? Why is it? Why is the limo breathing? The coming year is a turning point in your destiny. If the mystery goes unsolved, your future may be forever lost. My duty is to provide assistance to our guests to ensure that does not happen. Ah, I have neglected to introduce my assistant to you. Please make your make our acquaintance, please. <laughs> this is Margaret. She is a oh, resident okay. of this place, like myself. Where's Lavenza? I miss her. Where, where is she? My name is Margaret. I am here to accompany you through your journey. Well, hello, Margaret. How are you? <clears throat> Also, their portraits are on the other side. Hold up. Right? Yeah, no, normally they're por they're in P5, the portraits are down here. They're on the other side now. Huh. That's not terrible, I don't think. If I need to move chat, though, let me know. She's very pretty. Also, she does have the yellow eyes. But, like, the art style's different, so it's very different. I think we can learn to live with this one. Not necessarily a bad thing, too, because, like, I can... You guys can actually see the important bits. Because of age of Sammy, so it's legal. I know she's, like, a cosmic bean and stuff. And, like, I de... Like, look, she's, like, a cosmic bean and probably not dateable. But, like, all of... Just give me a chance, Margaret. Just, just one chip, Margaret, please. Just one chip. Please, Margaret, just one chance. <laughs> We shall attend to the details another time. Okay. Until then, farewell. Well, this means she's not gonna want to date me. Cosmic beams to women. Boobs. More boobs. All right. Water. Peach. What? Is it a commercial? Oh. With the refreshing taste of calorie magic. And we're back. Now on to some juicy news. The Mayumi Yamano scandal. I'm sure everyone is... <laughs> yeah, first he bags a singer, then he has an affair with a TV announcer on the side. Do chicks really dig politicians? Isn't it just stuff like money and connections? When you get down to it, financial and political clout is what matters. 
Hey, what is that supposed to mean? Well, what do you think? This is the guy, right? Looks like him. Well, I'm sure that you all know already, but at the end of this month, he will be transferring to another school. I can't believe it. Quiet down, guys. I'm not done yet. I like his little funky mop head. He's a silly little haircut. He's got gray hair, too. That's a nice touch. Why am I transferring? Am I a prisoner? Jose's brother. <laughs> I hope we just stop being the students in pieces. The Enkist Army mm -hmm. Suzu Hiragi preparing to tour overseas. Taro Namatame, a council secretary in the Inaba region, whom she married just last year, is now under suspicion of having an affair. What's more, his rumored mistress is the well known TV announcer. Oh, Ms. Should we go soon? Yes, just about. The question on everyone's minds is how this love triangle will affect. Oh, hi. <laughs> oh, that's the catastrophe, isn't it? Yaso Inaba. Oh, I hate scary movies. Ah, good old PS2 graphics. Hey, over here. Man's voice. Oh, he is disheveled. You have a daughter? Well, you're more handsome in person than in your photo. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Welcome to Inaba. I'm Ryotaro Dojima. I'll be looking after you. Let's see. I'm your mother's younger brother, and that about sums it up. Oh, so you're an uncle. We have we not met our uncle? And it's in April. Look at that. What what time? Um. A long time. I'll say you've really grown. I still remember when you were in diapers. Ah, okay. Yeah, OMG, people that don't hate us right off the bat. What Persona game is this? This here's my daughter. So we're immediately gonna have a little sister. Gotcha. And she's small. Come on, Nanako. Introduce yourself to your cousin. That's fun. <laughs> she's small. Ah, oh, she's cute. Hello. What was the red? <laughs> hey, what, what are was... you so shy for? Well, hey, 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 go back. Why did why did she glow red? Why did she glow red? <laughs> Free sister with every purchase. She was blushing. Okay. All right. I don't know what's graphic stuff and what's cursed. Also, who... Why is Jack Frost there? <laughs> she was bless blushing. All right, all right, okay. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> She's gonna self-destruct! <laughs> ah! I didn't know. I mean, I will say one thing. One thing that has actually aged a little well is, like, the portraits still look good. They still look good, and they're really stylistic. It's a good touch. The graphics are... Eh. They're okay, right? They're PS2. They're fine. Upgrading them for the Steam release? Hmm. Gotcha. Hey, my cousins are ho! Why do we wear a Sammy doll? 2D art rarely ages poorly. You bet. They're a banger for PS2 graphics, but hey. Also, everyone looks so small. They all look like Chibi. This is crazy. This is for a 15-year-old game. You have to remember how old I was 15 years ago, chat. I was very small. 
I was very small. This is the part where I remind you how old you are and how young I am. Anyway. <laughs> Was a baby. Nah, I wasn't quite a baby. You were Nanako's age. Uh, well, maybe. Ow! Oh. <laughs> Dude, she just slapped you. Hot damn. <laughs> Nanako got hands. Well then. Let's get going. My car's over there. So, single father, I'm thinking? Goth girl! Goth girl! Hey. Unfriendly looking girl! She's unfriendly and goth! You drop this. Oh, she's kind of cute. Has a lock on her. And a tie. I like the music. Bumping. Whatever. All I did was pick it up. I just said thank you, girl. Chill. Why are you so unfriendly? The Dojima's address. Oh, yeah. I want to forget that. What's wrong? She's also definitely, like, peak. Peak 2000s goth girl. Mole. Mole. Station District Gas. We need gas. Hi. Welcome to Mole. What? Can you go to the bathroom by yourself? Uh-huh. It's in the back, to your left. You know which way's left? The side you don't hold your chopsticks in. That's snarky. I know. Jeez. Poor Nadako. Girl's having a rough run of it. Are you taking a trip? Also, why are you so friendly? Why are you here, attendant? What are you doing? No, we just went to pick him up. He just moved here from the big city. Oh, so are we like in a rural area? A city, huh? Fill up my car while you're at it. Regular's fine. What? Wait, is that a thing? Gas attendants? City boy to country boy. Oh, God. Get me out of the country. I hate it here. Some places, yes. Huh. In my country, yes. Huh. Full service station. Oh yeah, New Jersey? Go to New Jersey, it's like everywhere. New Jersey and Oregon require employees to pump gas. Huh. Alright, good to know, I guess. Also, I don't want to go on the countryside. I lived in a small town. I lived in a rural area. They suck. They really sucked. Right away, sir. Good time as any for a smoke. You always got a cigarette in your mouth, my guy. Are you in high school? I don't care. Does it surprise a city boy to see how little there is out here? This is so weird. There's so little to do. I'm sure you'll get bored fast. You'll either be hanging out with your friends or doing part-time jobs. Speaking of which... We're actually looking for part-time help right now. Give it some thought, why don't you? We don't mind if you're a student. Oh, I should get back to work. Yeah, probably attendant. Hi, Nanako. Oh, sorry, heat flashes. Are you How okay? menopause is. Um. Did you get car sick? You don't look too good. Miss Nanako, I don't feel so good.
What's wrong? You okay? That's understandable. It must have been a long trip for you. Nojima's nice. I like him. Why not take a little walk? Get some fresh air. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Here, why don't you take a walk and get some fresh air? I'm just check through the house, so I just know where all the stores are. Blue butterfly, Lavenza! Dude, <laughs> this music bumps, dude. <laughs> why is the cat yellow? Why is why did the, why is the did the cat turn yellow with Persona Four? Why is the cat yellow? <laughs> I mean, look. Uh, so far, the music's aged beautifully. <laughs> so, like, that's good. I like the walking around music in P4 better than P5. I might get tired of the lyrics. I did like how Tokyo Daylight was just instrumental. That was a nice touch. Also, not being in the city is different. Okay, so I have to go, I have to like go someplace to save. Now look at these juicy piss orbs. Tan, everything's piss. Also, so why it's yellow too is because it's golden. Like fame and stuff, right? Well, unfriend unfriendly girl. Check! Damn, the next bus is gonna come for a while. If you miss one bus, you're pretty much screwed. My motorbike, I can go anywhere I wanted, anytime I wanted. I don't know how much they cost. Maybe I'll be able to buy with my cell phone. You're a country boy now, Sammy. I hate the country and I hate boys. Well, I mean, like, I, you know, uh, men are okay. Fairly empty inside, huh? 420! Blaze it. Machine. Hey, unfriendly girl, what's up? Have we met before? Not you took her. No? Okay. First thing into herself. Alright, bye girl. Over here. Pounding on something in the back of the store. Um <laughs> decide not to enter. when you can. Yep, don't I know it! Good shot. <laughs> A lot of crows. <laughs> hmm. I am just now. I thought it was leftovers. What? No, it was leftovers. I'm sure to save it for later. Oh, really? Sorry about that. I'm going to work, see ya. Oh, I was really looking forward to eating it. They're having a sibling dispute. You should leave them be. Sibling dispute. Machine. Rusted in place. Damn, this place is a shithole. Huh. <laughs> like most rural areas. Sorry, I really don't like rural stuff, guys. I really don't. Hmm. I'm probably gonna make a lot of, like, jokes about that, so. You know. Rust adds character. Very nice. Delicate balance. A country like you. Residents will not all appreciate hearing that. Ah, okay. 
Monaco. Okay. Oh, she seems worried about you. You're a sweetheart. I love you. Get back in the car. Did I miss anything? I love how, like, Persona 5 has, like, a very, like, jazzy theme, right? Jazzy, almost big bandy. And, like, Persona 4 has, like, a pop theme. Very good. Bumps. Old guy walking with a dog. Classic. Why would the dojo be missing this? Next year, this place will be your home. Why? I'll explain. All right, let's have a toast. So, your mom and dad are busy as always. They're working overseas, was it? Oh, they're going overseas. I know it's only for a year, but getting stuck in a place like this because of your parents? That's rough being a kid. Yeah, maybe we should rebel against this. Well, it's just me and Nanako here, so it'll be nice having someone like you around. So long as you're here, you're part of the family. So make yourself at home. You know, I like Dojo. Like, he is immediately very friendly and nice you know sojo was kind of all like oh you're a criminal right and then like you know he kind of warmed up and stuff but like i like that dojima is like immediately likable he's immediately a very likable man except he's very disheveled so he's probably horrifically depressed which is sad also i'm sure he like lost his wife tragically which is probably also sad but he's really nice so that's good um <laughs> anyway moscow thank you so much for the follow super duper appreciate it we're having a magical day. I do the magical. This is the funniest contrast coming from P5. Real. <laughs> Come on. There's no need to be so formal. <laughs> Look, you're making Nanako all tense. Well, anyway, let's eat. I mean, if you want me to say more about him, he's very disheveled. Like, he's got the, you know, the, the five o'clock shadow. He usually has a cigarette. He's got a beer. His top button's undone. He's wearing gray and red, which are not good colors. <laughs> um, don't, don't symbolize good things. Also, his hair is all shaggy. And the fact that he's got, like, a lot of gray or darker color gives him sort of this more miserable or more, like, disheveled and sort of, like, withdrawn tone. This very dreary vibe to him. Also, his eyes are gray on top of that. So like, it just... Yeah, like everything about him screams, <laughs> I have depression. If that makes sense. Oh, who's calling at this hour? The Dojo Ma Persona 5 is dreary. Yep. You must have a very stressful job, as we can probably see with this phone call. Dojima speaking. It's a flip phone. Mm hmm Yeah, I see. So where is it? Uh-huh. All right, I'm on my way. Looks like I made the right choice to skip the booze. Oh, so that is it. Sorry, but I gotta go take care of some business. Go ahead and eat without me. Dragon of Dojima? That's what I've been thinking the whole time. I'm like, Kiryu? The Dojima clan? I don't know how late I'll be. Nanako, you help him out, okay? Okay. Sad. Nanako, it's raining out. What did you do with the laundry? brought it in all right well i'm off oh that went very quickly vroom why oh do i have like sound subtitles enabled for this week 
Next, let's take a look at the hourly breakdown of tomorrow's weather. With storm clouds moving in from the west, expect rain throughout the day tomorrow in most areas. Let's eat. Our chopsticks are so chonky. What does your dad do? He investigates stuff. Like crime scenes. Oh, is he a is he is he a PI? Is he an invest is he a cop? He's an investigator, right? Because like the smoky, right? He's like a private eye. Please don't tell me he's a cop. <laughs> no, 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 I can't do this! No! Terrible game, never playing it again. God, persona, really? We're just gonna say he's a PI. He is a private investigator. My dad's a detective. Yeah, he's a detective. He's he's got he's a private investigator. That's great. We love that for him. And now for the local news. City Council Secretary Taro Namatame is under fire for an alleged relationship with a female reporter. This guy's face is all no bitches. He's, he's no bitches. Literally got that. Ah. Nice, Moscow. Gotta have your PI. <laughs> no personas. <laughs> Sure, Sammy Detective not a cop. Come on, guys. We can't keep doing this. His wife, Enka Ballad Sensation Misuzu Haragi, revealed to this station that she will likely pursue damages. In response, iTelevision has decided to cancel all of announcer Mayumi Yamano's televised appearances. Oh. Until allegations of an affair with Mr. Namatame are resolved, she'll remain off the air and out of the public eye. Okay, so he's having an affair with a reporter, and his wife is like an important ballerina lady. So it's it's drama, right? It's big drama because he's like a he's like a politician, reporter, um, ballerina. That together. No drama. Yeah. Opera singer. This okay. is boring. It is boring. Yeah, who fucking cares? At Tunis, every day is customer appreciation day. Tunis? Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. I'll touch your products. Juness. Instead of Junes. Every okay. day's great at your Juness. Thanks. Day's great at your Juness. Uh huh. Aren't you going to eat? Namako is adorable. I will protect her with my life. I've only known Namako for five minutes, but if anything happens to her, I'm gonna kill everyone in this game and then myself. She's great. Love her. You can save the game by using the calendar in the living room. Oh, okay. No, not the calendar system. Which is... Oh. Turn your greens there. Put... Go and make lunch. Here's some fried rice. Shows on TV. Monaco's at a loss. You should leave her alone. Oh. No bitches. 
there for the long trip. We we'll walk around outside. There's a room you're borrowing from Dojima. A room? Try for the long trip. You should rest. But I don't have a cat to tell me to. Try for the trip. You should rest. But I would. We're gonna make you go to bed for the furniture. Go to sleep? Well, I don't think I can do anything else, so. I'm Eevee. For one year, starting today. No wonder. Everything will be all right. You wonder if everything will be all right. School starts tomorrow. You should hurry to bed. I am the cat. This isn't the velvet room. This is the death hallway. <laughs> this is the spooky, misty death hallway. We're covered in thick fog. Thick. The vape room! No! Somebody left their vape pen on! And they won't stop vaping! Igor! Igor, help! <laughs> it's all weirdly flavored vape! Help! It smells like mangoes and chocolate! Also, uh, Silent Hill vibes. I feel like that's intentional. What do right now is proceed forward. Silent Hill's definitely older than this game, right? Ooh, wow! Bad vibes! They did a great job of making this horrible. The CRT, like, oh, oh. Awful, hate it. Why am I here? I, I don't like horror games, guys. This is terrible. I don't. You seek the tree. Heard someone's voice. Hot boxing in the Shadow Realm. <laughs> It's truth you desire. Come in and find me. Your voice from up ahead. Is it my persona? I don't like it. Got a mementos. Mementos. Send someone ahead. Ah. What am I gonna say? No. Why do I have a sword? So, you are the one pursuing me? Hmm, try all you like. Fighting fog. <laughs> that was loud. <laughs> Times I've from Persona 4 is a horror game. No, it, the reason why I'm looking at my phone is because I'm I'm gonna have brunch with some friends tomorrow, and the time was originally noon, and they were like, "Oh, could you do like 11?" I'm like, "Uh, oh, I mean, I guess." Oh, could you do 10? And I'm like, I have tomorrow off. How early do I have to fucking wake up? Oh, it looks like we're gonna be the first like. We're gonna probably like meet up with you first, so could you be ready at like 9.30? Like <sighs> I want to sleep in. Yeah, so I'm gonna be waking up early Sunday morning. Uh so lunch turned into breakfast. Yup. <laughs> Make all their bluff. Make them be wherever at six. The power move. Be like, I'll be ready at five. <laughs> so should you. 
Ugh. I'm annoyed. I did say if anyone makes fun of me for being EP, I'll kill you. Uh, I don't want to be up that early. Getting up before 10 on a Sunday is a crime. I have to get up at like 9. Ugh. I don't even go to bed. Maybe I should even go to bed. No. At least going somewhere close by, yeah. And I'm not driving, so like that's not, I'm getting picked up. They better love and appreciate me for this. God. I did send a sad face. Alright. Did I ever play P4 all night? Nah, I'm good. I like sleeping. P4 streamathon all night? No. This game's spooky. It's gonna scare me. Guys, this music's spooky. It's all Twilight themey. It's all spooky. This game's spooky. It's all so spooky. <laughs> hey, what are you? I see, indeed. That is an intro. Very interesting. I have a lightning attack. <laughs> Is that Izanagi? But you will not catch me so easily. If you seek is truth, then your search will be even harder. If what you seek is truth, your search will be even harder. Is what they want. The fog only deepens. <laughs> Will we meet again? In a place other than here. Hmm. I look forward to it. That's a terrifying thing to say, Dark. <laughs> I don't like where that's going. I already already have people horrified that Kasumi's below Kanashiro in the tier list. Oh boy. How bad is it? Maybe we're killing Burger King returns. Your Breakfast work. ready! Time to get up. Nanako. I had a nightmare. What has it been about? I don't know. I had a sword, though. We're in school today. Shh. Head to the living room for now. Good morning. Oh, hey. It's like eggs and sausage. Very American. Okay. That's really sweet of Nanako to make me breakfast. Let's eat. That's that's so nice of her. Look at her. Isn't she like sit? Why is she making breakfast, guys? This isn't good. This is a bad sign. Very nice of her to be. This is a bad sign. Nanako heard that you'd kill for her, so she made me breakfast. I do like her little kicky feet too. Uh. Do the cooking. I can toast bread and cook sunny side up eggs in the morning. That's great. Oh, she's cooking breakfast. That's sweet. Wait, why does she have experience? Dad can't cook, so I buy dinner. Don't you buy? I like you a little bit less now. <laughs> yeah, I noticed the laundry thing, but that's like okay. Uh, uh. Oh, I don't like. Ah, oh, Dojima. Dojima, dude. 
I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. It, they, I'm assuming it's going to be addressed. God, I hope. She's six. I don't know any six-year-olds that can cook and do laundry. I, I would know a six-year-old who could, like, grab laundry from outside or something. Y you know what I mean? Like, just, like, grab it and, like, put it in a basket. You know, like, something like that. But, damn, girl. Ugh. You're starting school today, right? Nojima looked like depression. Yeah, it's not a good excuse, though. <clears throat> My school's on the way, so let's go together. That's cute. Give me so much. I decided to head to school. So yeah, of course I am. Of course I'm going. School zone. The Megawa floodplain. Oh, does it rain here a lot? I like her little yellow umbrella. That's cute. And she's got the red backpack. You keep going straight from here. First day at the Dojima household hit me harder than anything in P5. These are not vibes. These are bad vibes. Oh, hi, Kiki. Welcome to the bad vibe zone. Yeah, I... Uh, because if she's doing all this, I'm gonna be the best sibling in Takeover. Literally. I, I'm going to help her, Soma. I'm going to cook her all the food. Legit. Bad vibes. This game's spooky. <laughs> I don't mean, like, bad. I just mean, like, spooky. You know? Also, hello, uh, Kiki. You're wonderful. Uh, if you guys don't follow Kiki, you're wrong. Go do it. She's cool and one of my mods, so I'm legally obliged. But do it. She's very cool. Just playing. Oh, are you doing some art? Hell yeah. That's great. It's very cool. Nice lady. Out of the time. Um, eyes. Love that for you. This is anime Scooby Doo. My oh, crap. Two D. Oh, nice. Godspeed. Oh no, it's the Ryuji of this game. Bye. <laughs> it just dies? <laughs> Holding your crotch there, bud? That looked painful. You should leave them be. Not shot. His testicles are destroyed. His, <laughs> His future generations will hear it. I believe it, Kiki. Yeah. I'm still looking for an artist and a, uh, artist and a, and a, uh, person for rigging as well. What kind of student life awaits you here? Uh, I know, maybe people will be, like, really, like, homophobic to me, because I- Oh, look, so main sorry. characters, look at them. It turns I could have oh. Oh. Uh, talk about bad luck. The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Rigger, yeah. Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. I'd take that winter, if you want to DM me. Go for it. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. I think these characters could be your soon-to-be friends, except for those two girls that are very clearly going to be. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? She has a portrait, all right. Short-haired girl with a sweater. I, do, I feel like that violates your school uniform, but like, you know, whatevs. School that doesn't hate our guts. It could be anyone. Huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. Right. Oh, and we're all in the same classroom. Okay, that's a good move, though. We're probably going to sit like right there then, <laughs> right? 
Okay. I like that three of our characters are, like, three of, like, the, the folks are just, like, our party members are probably just going to be, like, right in the middle. That's a good touch. Not many classrooms. Oh, that's fair. What's with him? I'm sitting by the window. What anime is this? Who knows? I like her. She seems nice. I like her little sweater. All right, shut your traps. Um. Um. Ah. Uh. <laughs> no man. <laughs> Thank you, Nomad. That was good. Yeah, wow. Um, all right. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. First things first. Just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love-struck baboons. Long as I'm around, you students are gonna be pure as the driven snow. What the fuck, bro? Um, wow. Yeah, I want Kawakami back. Holy shit, dog. I thought Sermon was a metaphor. It's not. I mean, I guess it makes sense why they hate him. Good God. I'm gonna deal with this for a year? Reverse Kamashita <laughs> shit. Also, it's fun how it's accurate to how rural homeroom teachers would talk to you. I know, personally. I had a I had one teacher. This is great. You guys are gonna learn so much Sammy lore by me playing this. So there was one science teacher I had, seventh grade. We are in seventh grade. Um oh Blazing Infernape. Nice, Pokemon. Hell yeah. How are you? Hello. Um, anyway, seventh grade. So picture like, I don't know what, like 11 year old Sammy? Is that seventh grade? 11, 12, something like that. Um, and we had the science teacher and she was a piece of work. Uh, she should have been a nun. Um, she wasn't miraculously. And uh, she was wild. She said all sorts of wild shit that you should not tell children. <laughs> Um, and, uh, she would frequently go off, like, she would frequently, like, talk about celibacy in class. Like, there are some days, um, where she would take time out of class to talk about, like, purity and stuff. Um, and I, I remember, like, one, one particularly egregious time we were talking about anatomy in our science class, because, yeah. Right? And we were, of course, guess what? We were talking about genitals. And we were talking about, you know, reproduction system. She wasn't a nun. She should have been. I have had nun teachers, though. That is a thing I've had. Um, but she... We were talking about reproduction. We were talking about celibacy, blah, blah, blah. You can kind of see where this is going. Uh, and she basically explained, like... Um, like, she explained, like, the science behind, like, genitals and stuff, right? Like, this is how this works, this is how that works. Um, but remember, <clears throat> like, but remember, you shouldn't be using this for anything because blah, 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 and, like, went on a whole little speech, and we were all like, we're 12, ma'am. We're, like, 12. We're in seventh grade. Um, and talked about improper usages of 
shit stuff. Yeah. And it went on for like 10 minutes. It was like a 10 minute thing. It was one of her most like infamous bits. And we were all just saying, oh, God, fuck. Get us out of here. Um, so when I say I don't like like rural small town stuff and like all that sort of bullshit. Oh, man, this game is going to be really this game is really going to be pulling a lot of things in my brain. It's great. Um, these are really fun body toys. You should never touch. I mean, yeah, she talked to us like we were fucking seven right? God. Lecturing us about the dangers of sex in seventh grade. <sighs> Having flashbacks. Anyway. So, uh, moral of the story is, this is gonna be an interesting playthrough. I do like how they made Nanako instantly uh, lovable, though, and then this dickhead is the most unlikable bitch. I don't like that they made him ugly, though. That's a ba that's a bad trope. Ugly characters being like bad or mean or evil, that's a bad trope. You shouldn't use that trope. Though the angel effect can be really effective when it's used in the reverse for like a very attractive character being very evil, you know. But like, eh. Anyway, Nanako's adorbs. Oh, I love her. I know of many problematic aspects of this. Yes. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, point being is, uh, I hate it here. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. Oh boy. Don't, um, here, uh, Infernape, you're new, so, like, this is fine, right? But I would politely ask, um, I would politely ask that you don't tell me what's best or what's worst, right? Uh, just let me decide for myself, because I will. Um, he's also very Bostonian, yeah. Yeah, no, I'm not mad. Just, like, letting you know. Um, I We will see what I like the best. I have only played Persona 5, and I loved it. Mm -mm. I literally finished it this week, actually. Yesterday's garbage. Yeah, he's very Bostonian. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. Dude. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on it. Yikes! God, shut up! Tell him your name, kid, and make it... Waffles right. Spoilers will instantly ban you. Do it, yeah. Call me a loser. <laughs> Yo, courage! Let's go! Is that guts? Is courage guts? Probably. Okay, nice. Option three is always the correct choice, hell yeah. Kid's got some balls. All right, nice. Let's go. Huh. That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. Now listen up! This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. Dude, you talk a lot about sex. Like, like a lot. Like, are you good? You good? You talk a lot about sex. You'd better not even think of getting involved Every with the word girls here, out of your mouth is about sex. Them. Oh my god. I mean, yeah. Okay, we agree on that at least. Dear lord. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Dude. Nah, I just moved back to my city. Yeah, fuck this. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. My space. Nice. He goes on and on and on. Excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Perfect. So I'm going to sit. Yeah, I was right. We're going to sit right in the thick of my new friends. This is perfect. Yeah, that's great. That's good. Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? 
Your seat's over there. So hurry up and sit down already. And she's literally like, can we please just move on? He's the worst, huh? Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we just have to hang in there for a year. I like her. She seems nice. Aren't you talking about you? Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. Then again, we're all in the same boat. Thank you, whiny student. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. You be able to fit in here? No. <laughs> Maybe. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Attention all teachers. Loud. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. Oh, okay, I bet that this is some plot shit. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Oh yeah, like somebody got fucking murdered or some shit, okay. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. Lock down the school. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Yep. yep. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. I don't like this! <laughs> yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. I don't like it. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh, yeah. You mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? Hey, Yukiko-san, mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? Oh. I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. Oh, sheesh. How much longer is this gonna take? I like that her fucking hoodie zipped all the way up too. What a goob. There's no telling. I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? You know, that thing about rainy nights. Oh. No, not yet. Sorry. Aw. That's okay. It's just, I heard a guy in the class next door yell something like, My soulmate is Yamano, the announcer. Attention, all students. God, it's so loud. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Nanako's okay, right? Don't spoil that, don't spoil that, don't spoil that. She better be okay. I don't know. They did say the tower. Hmm. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat. Incident? What, something actually happened? Come on, let's go take a look. Hey, are you going home by yourself? 
Everyone's so friendly. Why don't you come with us? This is so nice. Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know, I sit next to you, right? Chie. Of course. Well, nice to meet you. This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. We've got like the quirky girl and like the cool girl. Yeah. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff, really. That's all. You Cocoa Puffs! You Cocoa Puffs! Nice. Uh, um, Miss Satanaka. This Ball was really boy. awesome. Like, the way they moved was just amazing to see. And I'm really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? Kill him. Ah! Kill him. What the? I can't believe this. It's completely cracked. Oh, my trial of the dragon. Also, why do they keep hitting this poor man's balls? Why do they keep doing this to him? <laughs> Ball boy. I think mine's cracked too. Critical hit to the nads. She has violet no notes. I love her. Favorite. Uh, are you all right? Oh, Yukiko san. Are, are you worried about me? Don't be weird. He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. Hell yeah, Chie. He broke her DVD. This is in a lot of pain. You should leave him be! <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah, you just went... Anyways. <laughs> oh no! Anyways. <clears throat> Love that. <laughs> God, you should leave him be. Just... Peace out. Break my DVD, I break your back. You're Yuki, right? You want to go hang out somewhere? Whoa, that's... Oh, wow. <laughs> Why they do this is... Wow. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Well, interesting. Awesome. Cool. Why? <laughs> what? Who, who are you? <laughs> Hello. Just, what, guys? This town is so fucked up. This is a fucked up little town. Actually, no. Every small town is like this. I take that back. All small towns are little horror games. Every, like, for those of you that have never lived in a small town, they are all like this. All of them are like this. This is a fact. Make no mistakes. Mm -hmm. It's true, though. People are just so fucking weird. What's up with him? What school's he from? Never mind that. He's going for Yukiko-san? Man, you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move. Thank you, Peanut Gallery. Thank you. The Anglerfish dude from Anglerfish Town. I bet you a can of tap he gets knocked out. <laughs> no bet. Haven't you heard how difficult the Amagi challenge is? Amagi? Uh, so, uh, are you coming or- Gross. I- I'm not going. Fine! What- what did he want from me? I mean, that was definitely intentionally weird. Like, that was all strange on purpose, but like... Dude... What did he want? Uh, obviously he was asking you out on a date. Huh? Really? You really had no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. 
It was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turn down another lovelorn fool, huh? Her last name's Amagi, isn't it? The Amagi challenge. Ah. Uh. Wow. Great. How fun. Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Seems really nice, like... Oh, are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all! I mean, at least he was just kind of like... He just kind of like, oh yeah, like, you know, like, shot like shot a guy down. <clears throat> like, you know, like you did me like a year ago. And she's like, did I? And he's like, oh, you want to hang out then? No. All right. <laughs> Like, that's fine. Whatever. High schooler-esque. And I guess something like the Amagi challenge is kind of high schooler-esque too, right? Calling a woman like that. But still. Ugh. Cycling student is relatively chill. He doesn't seem like a bad guy. He's not calling her a challenge. That's good. Small town vibes. Up. Oh, it's like... Um, uh... I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Come on, let's go. Everyone's staring. Oh, so you came here because of your parents' job? <laughs> I thought it was something way more serious. There really is nothing here, huh? Uh, actually, I was praying for battery. Hearing it again. Yeah, it did it like three That's what makes again. it nice. But there is nothing much we can show to people from outside. Before keeping it at P5 for ac accidental wins. Though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I think our dyed clothes or pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait! And there's the Amagi Inn! Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. No way! It's been in all sorts of magazines as a hidden treasure! It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is gonna take over someday. Damn, Yukiko, your family runs an inn? Woo! Wow! I'm bored! Their inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I guess if it's a historical thing, I can get that. I actually had something like that in my town, too. I don't think that's entirely true. Drop stability. So, tell me. You think Yukiko's cute, huh? Well, I don't want to say, I don't want to say yes and make her feel weird. But I also don't want to say it's hard to say and, like, insult her. I, I don't want to, but I don't want to just look at her and, like, stare blankly. Don't start this again. See, now she seems sad. 
Yeah, I don't like any of the answers. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? Chia, you talk a lot. Come on, stop it. I'm gonna kill you. Y you shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Wait, no, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Jeez, Chie. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. But this is our chance to talk to someone from the big city. And you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? So Chie a real one for being like, new guy, would it be fucking funny if he dated the popular girl? That'd be really funny. <laughs> God. Mm -mm. So that high schooler left school early, and as she came down this street, I don't like it. Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. Wait, what did she just say? A dead body? Hey, what are you doing here? Kasumi's been busy. Lamel! <laughs> Real! Wait, they want to see a dead body? Look, small town people? Yes. Yes. Anything remotely interesting? Storm damage? Want to see it. Dead body? Want to see it. House burning down? Want to see it. Trust me. Well, you could say that. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? It's my uncle. I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with him. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. No, bitches. Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? Is this the guy? I'm sorry. <clears throat> kind of looks like the one, like the guy on TV. <sighs> go wash your face. We're going to go around and gather information. Tummy hurty. Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? Hey, Yukiko. Why don't we go to Juness some other time? Good idea. All right, then. We're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor, let's do our best. Map's not as stylish, I'll say that. Do I just... The jam is back. Oh. After that creepy-ass piano. Well... Go back, I guess. Ah, yeah, I am fat. He is a zoomy boy. I just love the bad satellite now.
Be fair, there are few, as few games that are anywhere near as stylish as... Uh, as P5. I mean, yeah, to be fair, yes. Like, but I mean... It's still a difference. I'm just being played vanilla P... Could you not sprint in vanilla P5? Not sprint in vanilla P5. I said you're the town, huh? Terrible, I hate it. Um, only in the metaverse. Wild. Huh. Why? I like how Royal is just better in every way. Jeez. That's insane. That's wild. Holy hell. Hmm. Anyway, first impressions of P4. Uh, music bumps. And I'm- I'm piss colored. I'm so yellow. Everything's so yellow. This is the piss zone. This is the piss dimension, guy. This is the piss game. The P game. Uh, I think- I think this color palette needs to drink some water. Um, I agree with you. It does. Arm veil real life. Um, it's so P. Uh, the P in Persona stands for piss. Pissona. Um, yeah, like, uh, oh, speaking of P, I have to. Um, but like, uh, yeah. A P a P4 piss master. Um, my my thoughts so far music bumps uh the story is intriguing i am intrigued it's spooky very spooky i don't normally play spooky stuff so this is gonna be interesting um i will say i do already not like some of the sexual things in it like all the preaching's annoying i know it's supposed to be but like the, them talking about yukiko too don't like that and there's probably gonna be more of that and i don't like that um, I like that everyone's friendly. I like what few characters I have met so far. They're nice. Um, you know, it's, it's all right so far. Um, the graphics don't bother me that much, but I am a zoomer. I'm used to better stuff, obviously. Um, yeah. I'm gonna say, um... Yeah, no, like, um, so far, so good. Uh, if you want to see me play more Persona 4, though, you can check me out on Monday. I'll be streaming next on Monday at 4, like how we started today. Uh, Tuesday next week is our Final Fantasy XIV stream, where we're talking about 7.0 and some of the, uh, the big stuff coming to the game. So save your chit-chats for Final it's Fantasy like that day. And uh, then I'm also playing once. Persona 4 again Friday. So we're gonna have we're gonna have some streams next week. If you want to see me again, like I said, Monday, four o'clock. That's the next Persona 4 stream. Uh, we're just gonna play that for like six hours. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, I have a Discord that you can also catch my stream schedule with, and also on Twitter. We'll see how Twitter lo how long Twitter keeps lasting, but you know whatever. Um, so yeah, go say hi to my friend Clarissa, a friend and teammate. She's just doing some little drawings, uh, doing some drawn on ff14 uh i love you guys get some rest before your breakfast slash brunch it's all breakfast now it's all breakfast. i'm sad <laughs> i'm sad but uh thank you guys for hanging out thank you for uh listening to that tier list talk and i'll see you in persona Buh bye see you guys later